first thing to say is that we know that neurodevelopmental conditions themselves co-occur really highly. If you have autism, uh, the chances of you, you know, meeting criteria for ADHD or at least having enhanced ADHD traits it is much higher. The problem really is, is that in research, um, we've kind of dealt with these conditions quite separately. So, you know, you'll have studies on ADHD and sometimes those studies will exclude anyone with an autism diagnosis and vice versa, studies on autism that exclude individuals with an ADHD diagnosis. Mm. So we're only really just starting to understand that these conditions do co-occur really highly and we need to understand them more holistically um, at the same time. But the other kind of major aspect, I guess, of comorbidity or, or co-occurrence is that we know that if you do have a neurodevelopmental condition like autism or ADHD, you're also at much higher risk for a range of, of all sorts of different kind of psychiatric and, and mental health conditions. 